हाई गाइज वेलकम टू अनादर लेक्चर भिडियो आई एम रियली सरी आई एम पोस्टिंग आफ्टर ए लंग टाइम बट ड्यू टू हेवी वार्कलोड आई कुड एबल टू मेक् सम भिडियोज बट नाउ आई उल ट्राए माइ बेस्ट टू किप दि लेक्चर भिडियोज इन रेगुलर इंटरवाल सो टूडे आज प्रमिस्ड उल लर्न अबाउट बर्ड एनासीसीआ एंड लाबोरेटरी एनिमल एनासीसीआ ओके ओनली द फिल्ड लेवल फास्ट बर्ड एनासीसीआ actually we we won't achieve the anesthesia it is basically sedation okay first which birds will be presented to your veterinary dispensary these four are very common parakeet which you sometimes mistake as parrot that is actually parakeet then chicken dog geese these are adult body weights but they can vary next which surgeries mostly you will encounter the highest number of cases will be crop injury then lacerated wound apart from these two there will be some other operations also now coming to the anesthesia actually sedation not anesthesia midazolam at the rate of 5 mg per kg body weight okay intranasal uh, intranasal means you have to uh, give anesthesia the liquid anesthesia in drop wise manner to the nasal openings okay the uh, earlier lectures you have known that midazolam comes in 1 mg per ml concentration so you have to give intranasal and you will be surprised that this midazolam is a research product of our college that is odisha veterinary college and uh, this paper has won gold medal okay but we are not using it so unfortunate so we should apply this this is very safe okay next by an example we will understand how to give internasal anesthesia suppose a parakeet has been presented to your veterinary dispensary with crop injury so we have to suture the crop suppose uh, i am taking the lesser margin suppose 100 g body weight next dose calculation we have found we need 0.5 mg which is equal to 0.5 ml because the concentration is 1 mg per ml then for parakeet and chicken uh, the chicken means the chicks small chicken you have to use the insulin syringe otherwise for adult chicken adult dog and adult geese you can use the 2 ml syringe with 24 gauze needle next insulin syringe uh, first you should know that 1 ml insulin syringe is actually divided into 40 units so one unit is 0.025 ml we need 0.5 ml so we need 20 units of midazolam you divide the midazolam uh, 20 units in three parts either 6 6 8 or 7 7 6 according to your wish now the technique is you give first part whether 6 or whether 7 intranasally drop wise in both the nasal opening give drop wise manner okay 6 7 then after check the writing reflex writing reflex means if you will put the animal on the table it should able to stand with his two legs when the writing reflex is gone it will be to one side it will fall down okay first gives first unit uh, first part then observe the writing reflex for uh, 10 to 20 seconds or something then give the second part then also observe most of the time by giving the second part we will observe some amount of sedation so maybe that is the your confidence level okay but still if you are more confident go for third part and in which the animal will be very good set there will be very good sedation and to perform the crop injury uh, sutures okay so in this way you can give the midazolam okay apart from midazolam intranasal if you want some good sedation also for suppose there is a very big lacerated wound you can also use midazolam as 0.5 mg per kg body weight intramuscular okay intramuscular in thigh muscles or wing muscles you can uh, give the midazolam this is all about bird anesthesia this is very basics and remember birds are very sensitive okay manual restraint causes stress in birds okay sometimes they will die even if 
you have not performed the crop uh, surgery they will die because of stress while manual distance so uh, give me as a manager they will be sedated to certain level so that the number of mortality will be reduced next we will go for laboratory animal anesthesia okay the uh, laboratory animal which will be presented to your veterinary dispensary rat guinea pig and rabbit these three are very common these are body weights okay these are common surgeries which you, which you will encounter in field level jaw abscess this is very peculiar in rabbit okay you will find abscess abscess pockets just below the jaws these jaws okay then tumor and castration specifically male rabbit these are the agents which can be used as anesthetic protocol xylazine and ketamine combination xylazine is 5 mg per kg body weight ketamine is 35 mg per kg weight this combination produces about 20 to 30 minute of good anesthesia okay but in case of rat the xylazine is 10 mg per kg body weight and the ketamine is 75 mg per kg body weight okay in case of rat use insulin syringe Okay, in guinea pig, if you, you are finding less than 1 kg, use insulin syringe. If you are finding more bigger guinea pigs, you can use 2 ml syringe with 24 gauze needle. Okay, next, these are important points. Laboratory animals are not fasted like dog and cat because they do not vomit. Okay, if you are fasting, then there is every chance of development of hypoglycemia and post surgical gi disturbances okay and uh, another point to remember in case of a rabbit always prefer giving antibiotics or painkillers anything either subcutaneous route or per oral route intramuscular injections sometimes you have to give very large volume of intra intramuscular injections which causes muscle necrosis they have very small thin muscles okay if you are giving to some little bit large and suppose uh, if you are giving 120 mg of safety action sodium then you have to give 0 0.9 ml water so that it will become 1 ml 1 ml is too high for that small uh, muscles to hold so but to give subcutaneous or poor oral uh, i hope i have shared some documents regarding rabbit medicine in different groups uh, i will try to put in my link to my google doc so that you can download the rabbit uh, medicines these are all about laboratory animal anesthesia and barn anesthesia very small topic next class i will go for the large animal anesthesia not actually anesthesia that is local anesthesia mostly but i will talk about some sedation that is use of xylazine and how you can use midazolam also midazolam causes very good muscle relaxation so this is all about barn anesthesia and laboratory anesthesia if you have any doubt please comment below the uh, below so that I can reply when I will get time and uh, I am I apologize again that I am posting uh, this video very late but uh, up, uh, from this week I will regularly post the videos regarding this thank you very much please subscribe to my channel